So we have Coach Gary Gate joining us now. Uh, Gary, you've done and accomplished a lot in your lacrosse career, but this is obviously got to be a pretty cool moment. Where does taking over as the head men's lacrosse coach at your alma mater rank? You know, it, it's one of those dream opportunities that, that comes true. You know, it was uh, an amazing opportunity, a dream to come back to Syracuse and become a, a head coach here for the women's program. But to have that opportunity to play for the team that, that I played for is is amazing in the history of men's lacrosse, you know, playing for, for Coach Simmons Jr., um, with Coach Desco as an assistant, and then watching Coach Desco take over the reins and, you know, win five championships, you know, puts the pressure on to kind of continue that legacy of championship lacrosse and excellence. And, we're up to the task, I think. So as you take over this program, obviously everybody, including the fans, have their own expectation on where they want Syracuse lacrosse to be and where they think it is now. But as you've now had a chance to kind of settle in, look at the program, look at the results from the last couple of years, and look at what your roster is going to look like, where do you think Syracuse lacrosse is right now? Well, I think we're we're poised to be a, a very solid team. You know, we're working on a few more pieces of the puzzle uh, throughout the summer, um, along with our uh, 2023 class that we uh, are working on. We're working on looking at the portal, looking who's available. You know, probably uh, you know fill a little spot here or there, create some more depth. You know, in the face-off position, maybe, you know, maybe the goalie position, just because they're unknowns. You mentioned the, the transfer portal. Uh, you ex probably experienced some of it with the women's game. How new and different is it from the time you started coaching college you know, about a decade ago? Oh, it's completely different. It's free agency. You know, it's an opportunity for kids to, to if they're, if they're, crushing it on a team, maybe a mid-major team, it's their opportunity to go to a power five school or a top ranked program. And, and for those kids that maybe aren't playing at, at a top five program in ACC school, they can then get in the portal and go find a home where they can play. So it, it's a great opportunity for the athletes. You know, it's definitely tougher on us coaches. Um, you know, it, it makes it we recruit future players, but we got to recruit current players at the same time. With the, the women's team, you obviously accomplished so much uh, with your time there with the, the Syracuse women. And you get the team right there to the cusp of almost winning a championship again this past season. I wonder how hard it was to leave that program knowing you were so close, but you couldn't quite win that last one. You know, that's the hardest part is is leaving without finishing the job I said I would do. And, and, you know, I promised Dr. Gross when I was hired that I would make this a top five program. I promised him a national championship. We got to the title game three times, the eight final fours, and never finished that last little piece of the puzzle. But the good thing is, uh, you know, we'll have a that program is poised to win that first national championship. And, you know, um, I, I will be right here ready to celebrate with those uh, those players and coaches when that does happen for us. When you, uh, you probably, you've been around the building here at, at Syracuse. It's not like you have to go far when you, you change offices there at, 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 on campus. So it's not like you haven't been around the, the men's team probably a bit. What's your relationship with some of the players on that team? And what's the message as you come into the locker room for the first time? Well, I, I think I, I know a few of the players. Um, we're on completely different schedules. So I bump into a player here or there in the hallway or manly shooting around, go have a chat with them. But, you know, it, it's a huge opportunity this summer to get to know those players and really develop some some keen relationships so that I figure out how these guys tick, how to push their buttons, how to motivate them. And, and that's really going to be key. Um, you know, really that relationship that's developed between head coach and players is, is something I'll be focusing on. You mentioned relationships, and you have a relationship with your now defensive coordinator uh, from back in the day in, in Dave Petromala. 
Take me back to playing against, against Dave Petromala. What are your memories of playing against one of the best to ever do it on the defensive end? Well, I, I played pro lacrosse for a long, long time. And I watched young guys come and go in the pro leagues, covered by them all at one point. And to this day, I've always said that the best to ever cover me was Dave Petromala. And it was, you know, that competitiveness, the, the drive for excellence, all of that which he brings to his coaching. And uh, it's going to be awesome to have him just focus on the defense, not worry about being the head coach. He can really put his energy into that. And, you know, from our conversations, I think he's pretty excited about that. You know, an area he loves defense. He wants to get the best kids. He wants to get them playing together well. And he wants to try to deliver a top defense in the country. So you mentioned getting the best kids and recruiting wise. Uh, I know you can't mention players in this class uh, of upcoming juniors, soon to be seniors. But when you look at that class of guys that you have verbal commitments to Syracuse and you try to kind of take a look at the landscape of what you have, how have you approached that class in particular this summer, knowing guys that are committed, some guys that are still uncommitted that may be interested in Syracuse? How have you approached that class of 2022? Well, I, I think the first thing is to honor the commitments that uh, the previous staff made. I think Pat March led that group, and, and I think it's one of the top classes in the country. So we're thrilled. We've communicated with them all. Uh, I think everybody's happy at this point. And, you know, I'm going to continue to go watch them play throughout the summer. I know I'm heading down to watch four or five of them play. I've seen a couple play last week. And I'll get through the entire class, but so far they look awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that class. Well, uh, it, it's exciting to see you now, uh, the head coach of the men's program, uh, Gary. We appreciate the time. Good luck the rest here, uh, the rest of the summer, and I uh, can't wait to see you take the field again. Uh, this time with a different team, uh, you're leading in there to the carry down. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, and, and thank you very much. And uh, you know, it's going to be a fun year. Looking forward to it.